Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We sent the team out to the Ealing Blues Festival, part of the Ealing Summer Festivals, and met with the founder, Bob Sammons. Check this out and see what you think. This is the UK Americana Bar out and about at Ealing Blues Festival. It has finally stopped raining and the sunshine is out. I'm going to show you around, come on. Here with Bob, who is the founder of the Ealing Blues Festival. We've just been having a bit of chat about, you know, how this all started and a little bit more of the history of the Ealing Blues Festival. Yeah. Please do tell us more. Right. Okay. Well, over there, that way, is the old premises of Ealing Grammar School for Boys, which is where I attended, right overlooking this park. Other famous pupil for uh, three years, Lee Brillo, frontman of Doctor Feelgood, who went there and is in the year below me oh, really? for three years. Yeah. He lived in Ealing until he moved to Southend at about the age of 13, 14. Okay. So anyway, so, so, so me and Lee Brillo uh, went there. Up the top end of the park up there was uh, a small brick stage. And back in 1987, having been local, having gone around this park during my lunchtime at school, the band I was playing in, oh, let's play in the park. We got the council to open it up. It had power, little toilet. And we just played a little free gig to about 50 mates. The following year, a couple of other local bands said, oh, we'd like to do that. So I went back to the council and said, we'd like to do that again. So they opened up the brick stage and it was three bands. We hired a bit of a bigger PA, passed a bucket for the PA. All went off, following year, more people wanted to do it. Four years, four years in, we're, we're pulling a thousand people. We were at school together, <laughs> and we formed a band in the 60s, and we were a big hit in the 60s, yeah. and we're still a big hit. Now. <laughs> so at our school, same school, Brian May was playing the band with him. Oh. And um, then you decided Brian wasn't really up to it. So oh, absolutely. Yeah. Just wasn't good enough. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> do, do one, Brian. <laughs> well, we want to take this seriously. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. This weekend is the Blues Festival, next weekend is the Jazz Festival, and in between the Blues and the Jazz is the Comedy Festival. There's a couple of comedy. Yeah, so uh, it was yeah, Ju I mean, Julian Clary was last week, and uh, oh, brilliant. Russell, Russell Kane <laughs> ne next Friday. So, yeah, so it's now become a big, all encompassing arts festival, but this is I remain the founder and artistic director of it, so yeah, so I book, I book all the bands. Last night we had the Blockheads who uh, blew the roof off the place. Tonight we've got. Imagine. Tonight we've got Mungo Jerry, oh. pr producers of the fourth highest selling single of all time. Well, yes. In the, in the summertime. I'm here with Jennifer Noble, who is pretty much a blues photography royalty. So in the mid 90s, I, I turned 40 and I said, you know what? I am going to follow my passion, and my passion is blues. And I am going to photograph as many legends as I can. But Muddy Waters died in 1983, and he lived in my town, and I saw him dozens of times. And of course, all the greats came to play with him. No problem. You know, wherever he played, all the legends were there, like Willie Dixon, Chu Duels, and all the, all the legends that came up from Mississippi. We are here at the Ealing Blues Festival. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank What's you. your name? Where'd you come from? Um. <laughs> Uh, my name's Ian McHugh, uh, I live in Sheen, just near Richmond on the other side of the river um, and I'm here to MC the stages today, or MC the main stage, introducing people. I kind of felt like I was getting you to do a Tinder profile though. Uh, it, it is, yes, yeah, which way are you swiping though? <laughs> I actually think I might eat a week's worth of food in the next couple of hours. It just looks incredible. Well, tell us a little bit more about Bourbon Street Revival. Okay, we are a blues and soul band. We're 
10 members, so it's a quite, wow. a big, quite a big BAM. You're on the South Stage today, aren't yeah, you? So yeah, so we've been promoted to headliner this year, which yes. I was really pleased to get. Brilliant. Um, but we've also played a lot of other blues places, 100 clubs, Tuesday Night Blues. Okay. Um, and the promoter of that was really happy with us, so he invited us to play up at the Great British Rock and Blues Festival. It's about half past two now, so who are you looking forward to coming out on the main stage? Uh, well, it's Do, Do Bello are coming out. They're right. like a modern rock, blues rock influence band. Fantastic Jade Williams, the, the, the vocalist. Right. Really great, fantastic vocalist. Oh, I'll look to that, they are really good. Down on the south stage, we've got Mumbo Jumbo, who are very sort of quirky, humorous. Yep. And, uh, you know, they're, they're great harmonies. Oh, and uh, I'll be playing, I'll be on stage at 7 o'clock tonight with the Robert Hokum Ealing Blues Festival All Stars. Um, and then of course we've got Mungo Jerry uh, closing at, at 9 o'clock. I'm with Jade from Jubelos who's just been on the main stage at Ealing's Blues Festival. How was it for you? Yeah, a really good experience, really enjoyed it. We're a band actually from this area. Uh, we would say we're a mix of things between rock and blues and folk and yeah. all sorts of things. We're up and coming, we're unsigned, completely original. Oh really, unsigned? Yeah. That didn't sound like an unsigned, yeah. unsigned band, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm here with Steve Morrison at the Ealing Blues Festival. Hi, how are you doing? Good, had a great time today. Yeah? Yep. Cool. Just performed a set, we were the opening act, so we had everybody's attention. They were, oh, all, brilliant. were all with us, it was lovely. Tell us a little bit more about who you are, what you do. Okay, I'm a blues guitarist. Yeah. Um, we recently achieved a little bit of notoriety by appearing on Sky Arts uh, Guitar Style Programme. All right, yeah. I was a finalist, Love I did very time. well for, for an old blues guy, I did pretty good. And so that was fun, but it's helped open a few doors. And uh, I know Bob who runs this festival. Yeah. And he gave me this slot today. Oh, um, So my background is certainly blues, and I, I play the bass and the guitar. Okay. At the same time. Bit so of singing. Bit of singing as well. That's and fun. that keeps it all kind of fresh. The other thing, of course, about about Ealing is the importance of the Ealing Club. Um, which is the blues heritage of Ealing because it was that little club about half a mile that way where Alexis Corner and Cyril Davis in 1962 started the first ever electric blues club, the first dedicated electric blues club where they were not going to play jazz, they were not going to play um, rock and roll, it was going to be electric blues dedicated. and that, that spawned, um, that was March 62, that was where the Rolling Stones met, it was where the Who played really? their first gig as the Who we put a heritage plaque, that's the heritage plaque. You got this guys? That's the, that's the heritage plaque that we put up above the Ealing, the Ealing Club. Um, come over to our merchandise store a bit later on and we'll show you some more stuff. But yeah, it was where Jack Bruce met Ginger Baker, who went on to form Cream, which in their time was the largest. So it really is one of those so iconic it places. It is, the yeah. Ealing Club is, you talk to any musicologist, and it is the most important rock place in Britain. are here at the Ealing Blues Festival and I have Laura Holland of the Laura Holland Band with me. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, I'm very well, thank you. I've been recently working with Todd on my new album. Todd's producing my new album and so today we're going to be showcasing a lot of the new material for only the second time. I mean, I've, I've effectively moulded a band around, uh, around Laura that, that corresponds rightly with the, with, the, with the project and the... Uh, She's like, she's like my little sister. <laughs> my brother from another mother. <laughs> You're gonna regret it, yeah. 